Hi Zach and Jesse, Mike from the Rural Montana family. I'm here at the five stall 150 kilowatt supercharger in Dallas, Oregon. You can see here it's got five stalls. They're labeled 1A, 2A, 3A and then 1B and 2B. I'm not positive which ones are paired here. Never seen this setup before usually seen even numbers. The supercharger is easy to get to. The interstate is just right over there. Um, it's a little tucked in, somewhat hidden in here, but not bad to find. There is a pet area right behind here, so you could walk your dog if you have a dog with you. And also behind us there is that Chevron gas station that has a convenience store and next to the Chevron gas station over that way there we have a restaurant and saloon the charger itself is in the parking lot of this hotel here and it is kind of crowded here at times this morning it's not too bad but we were here last night and the parking lot was full the supercharger was super busy and we got a message to only charge to 80 percent which barely gets us to the next supercharger as we are driving this 2013 model s with 192,000 miles on it and we need basically 100% to safely make it to the next supercharger. In any event, uh, it's pretty noisy around here. It is kind of an industrial area. The interstate right behind us makes a lot of noise. The town itself is kind of neat. They're all old buildings, lots of little shops, restaurants, bars, but you can't walk from here to there. You got to drive over that way. There's also lots more EV charging in this town. There are quite a few level two chargers and we actually picked up some dinner last night and went over to the Lewis and Clark Festival Park and we charged there for free last night. So that was super cool. Uh, there is also another uh, fast charger. It's a Chedemo here in town. So there is some options, but there's only this little small and busy supercharger here because of this being kind of noisy around here and really not too much to do i think i would rate this only a six out of ten now you know